The operators of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant have apologized for failing to promptly announce the contamination of a well near the facility with highly radioactive strontium and tritium. They say they'll increase checks of groundwater around the plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company workers detected the substances in an observation well on the coastal side of the number two reactor building, but officials say they found no major changes in radiation levels in the seawater. TEPCO says it will set up more monitoring posts and observation wells. Workers will also check a nearby tunnel for clues about the contamination. Officials added they will reinforce nearby embankments to prevent the toxic groundwater reaching the sea. TEPCO officials say the cause of the problem may be wastewater that leaked into the sea in April 2011 near the number two reactor building. They say highly radioactive materials might have seeped into the well. The company has again drawn criticism for being slow to reveal environmental contamination. The timeline of the incident shows workers tested the groundwater in the area on May 24th. One week later, plant officials knew tritium levels were higher than the government set level. But they did not share the data with TEPCO executives for another 11 days. It then took another week for TEPCO to let the public know. Officials apologized for the delay. They said they were waiting for the strontium test results. A senior official of Japan's ruling party has apologized for remarks seen as making light of the suffering of the people of Fukushima. Liberal Democratic Party policy chief Sanae Takaichi said on Monday, no one died in the nuclear crisis two years ago. She was arguing in favor of nuclear power. No one was killed even in the disastrous nuclear accident at the Fukushima plant. Under the current circumstances, we have no choice but to make use of nuclear power plants while securing maximum safety. The Secretary General of the party's Fukushima chapter protested the remark on a visit to LDP headquarters in Tokyo. More than 1,400 people are recognized as having died as a result of the disaster. They include those who died because of the stress of evacuation and those who killed themselves due to anxiety. Hiraide said Takaichi's comment was inappropriate as it lacked consideration for the people of Fukushima. Takaichi later retracted her remark. I apologize to the people of Fukushima who had felt anger and sadness because of what I said. I am very sorry. It's a joke. It's a giant joke being played on everybody. And they still go through the motions like it matters. Sadly, there are people that still believe it. Now, dangerous levels of highly radioactive material have been found near the earthquake-damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan. Levels of strontium-90, which is a toxic byproduct from nuclear reactors, have increased 100 times since the end of last year. The new readings are more than 30 times the legal limit. Our correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes is in Tokyo for us. Uh, Rupert, is this surprising given what's happened there in that location? Yes, it is surprising. <laughs> and it's more bad news uh, for uh, the company that runs the plant uh, and for Japan in general, because what it shows is that the radiation from the crippled nuclear plant, from the crippled reactors uh, at Fukushima, has not been fully contained. No shit. For the last two years, since the triple meltdown there, the job of Tokyo Electric Power has been first to stabilize those reactors and then to contain the radiation. A and they believed that they had done that, but what this shows is somehow radiation is still getting out of those reactors, probably through the cooling water and into the surrounding environment and into the groundwater. Uh, and this latest, uh, this latest report shows that it's not only getting out, it seems to be increasing, that in the groundwater there in the last few months it has gone up by around a hundred times the strontium-90. So it appears that either a major leak took place and it's finding its way into the groundwater, or there is some sort of constant leakage going on that is getting worse. And it appears that the company doesn't really know exactly what's going on. It's another bullshit experiment. And how worrying is this for anyone in that area? Uh, you know, obviously water moves below ground, doesn't it? 
It, it does, and potentially it will move eventually into the ocean, which is very, very close by. So that's worrying for fishermen in, in the region who want to start fishing there uh, uh, again. Uh, but, I mean, it's, it, it's not an immediate threat to the surrounding uh, population because most of the population around the plant has still been evacuated, have not been able to return to their homes. But as I said at the beginning, what it basically means is the radiation has still not been entirely contained within the plant. And, of course, that is a, a continuing worry. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says he'll follow the NRA's lead when it comes to restarting any nuclear reactors. Abe said safety will be the top priority, adding that the government will let the authority decide how best to proceed. He said that if the NRA concludes that a reactor meets the new criteria, the government will honor the decision and approve a restart. Abe also said that the government will do everything it can to gain the understanding and cooperation of host municipalities and other concerned parties. If it walks like pork, sounds like pork, then it's probably pork. And pork is what taxpayers for common sense called Senator Lindsey Graham's South Carolina plutonium fuel boondoggle called MOX. Graham's MOX plant is $6 billion over budget, behind schedule, and has no market for its product. Worse, Graham's pork barrel project is run by a French company, sending tax dollars overseas. Tell Lindsey Graham to stop wasting billions on MOX. We bring new friends to play. I wrote this just for you. We make you smile, GE. We bring good things to live in. We bring good things to live in. We bring good things to life. We let you live it again. We bring us on to your night. We help you to create. We keep you looking right. We bring you closer. We've reached the maximum allotment of high-quality digital content and up-to-the-minute information the human brain can adequately process.